Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. So, yesterday, content creator Ariane Curry got on live on TikTok and she had a lot of stuff to talk about. Definitely some things she should not have said. Ariane said that she has been uh, getting her content together. And although she is getting ready to build her TikTok channel, she did hear that it may go away. I would just like to know, what is she going to say to us to captivate us? I know a lot of you don't want to talk about it, but we're here, right? Because I would love to know what Ariane's going to talk about. So then she let us know that she has some things in the works, right? She said we're going to be so proud of her when she gets it done. Um, but then she told the truth about it. She said, you know, it'll take about a year before she gets it done. You know, Ariane was supposed to write a book about... I don't know, maybe three years ago, she was supposed to have a book out. And then you saw what happened to the YouTube channel. And then she just threw Instagram right on the way and came right over here to TikTok. Like, what in the world is coming up for you, Ariane? Like, I don't even, what is coming up? Whoever Lex is, I'm sorry you got blocked, but I don't know how Ariane thinks she's going to build a channel and she blocks everyone, right? You better do like mail and push through because that's the only way you're going to build a channel. And then she was like, did they have something to talk about on Love and Marriage Huntsville or did they need me? I'm paraphrasing. Girl, you, why are you still talking about the show? That's what I'm saying. Like, what could you possibly do content on when your whole life revolves around a show that doesn't exist for you and a man who is still not yours? So then she finally lets us know what she is going to do for content. Y'all, let's get into it. Earlier when I had swimming lessons, I got some content from swimming lessons. We went to eat after that, and we went to um, the mall. Now I'm here, Paris is at cheer practice. Um, this summer is a little different for me because normally every single summer, um, by this time, she would be with her father. Child, when it comes to these kids, Ariane does not want to be bothered, right? She said usually Paris is always with her father for the summer, but Paris has chilly to camp on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So she's got to do that. She was like, I'm used to having my summers together. And this summer's not going to summer like last summer summered. And then she went on to call Knots and Oops Baby. Oops. Now, we already know she had the baby out of spite. Now, she is double downing and confirming that he was an oops baby. Oh, my God. Then somebody said come to Texas when she was talking about moving. Girl, it is full over here. We, we don't need anybody else, right? So, as she was talking and talking about kids, not having any more kids, and one is enough, then she said, yeah, everybody got an oops baby. We got an oops baby. At some point, that baby's going to see this, right? And then I guess somebody asked her about Martell. Are they together? She was like, no, Martell is very single. I don't know where Mr. Holt is. I'm sure you can get in his inbox and he'll answer you. I'm single. We're together when we're together. I This right here, this is a mess. This whole life is a mess. So I guess somebody asked her, like, does Martell have a home or where does he stay? She was like, Martell has always had a home, right? Don't believe what you see on TV. I'm paraphrasing. And she also said something about don't believe what's in those court papers. Ma'am, how could we not when we have the court papers? I believe she feeling it, y'all. I believe she feel like the block is getting hot for her. And she doesn't even know what to do. And now she caught up. Child, somebody asked Ari. <laughs> Ariel, what was her career path? <laughs> Y'all, for real, I might do a parody because I'm getting ready to go to the dentist this morning. And I say that because she sat here and said that she's going to get veneers. After a decade of braces, now she's going to get veneers. Girl, you don't even have a car. How you gonna pay for veneers? And I know Martel ain't about to pay for him. With his $2,500, maybe $3,000 check. 
I mean, Arian has so many impossible dreams. It is just, and I don't mean impossible like for us, but definitely impossible for her. Girl, you're not moving nowhere. I, I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say what that girl not gonna do. But it ain't gonna be no veneers. Yeah, it was a lot. It's your girl, Millie Chud. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.